Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. While the preset reports that are provided in QuickBooks are very useful, you may also want to create your own custom reports for your company. You can create reports that either detail or summarize the data stored in your QuickBooks company file. You can create a custom transaction detail or summary report from scratch specifying all of the report's features, or you can simply use one of the preset reports and then modify it until it displays the data that you want. Doing that can often save you a few steps in creating a custom report, especially if there is a preset report that closely resembles the data that you would like to view. Once you've modified your preset report, you can then memorize the report to save it as your own custom report. This can often be a time saver and is also a very good way to learn about report customization options within QuickBooks. Once you have mastered the options available for reporting, you can then design your own custom transaction detail and summary reports with much more confidence. The report options that are available for customization will depend upon whether or not the report that you select to modify or create is a transaction detail or summary report. A transaction detail report will display detailed transaction information about data within QuickBooks. A summary report will summarize totals from transaction details within QuickBooks. With the summary reports, you will have more summarization options available for your report data. In this lesson, we will examine how to set reporting options for both transaction detail and summary reports within QuickBooks. Now, if you want to begin modifying a report based on a preset report, first open the desired preset report that you want to use as the basis for your own custom report. You can then click the Modify Report button that appears in the small toolbar at the top of the preset report in order to access the Modify Report dialog box. You can then use the Modify Report dialog box to customize the report settings for your report. If you wanted to create a new transaction detail or summary report from scratch within QuickBooks, then instead click the Reports command in the menu bar and then select either the Custom Transaction Detail Report command or the Custom Summary Report command from the drop-down menu in order to open the Modify Report dialog box. You can then set all of the report's aspects on the tabs shown within this dialog box in order to create your own custom report from scratch. Now in the Modify Report dialog box, you will see the major categories of report customization displayed as tabs across the top of the dialog box. These tabs are Display, Filters, Header Footer, and Fonts and Numbers. Generally, on the Display tab, you can add or customize report columns, as well as change the date range of the report. You use the Filters tab to change the underlying source of the data that is being displayed within the report. Simply using the report settings that are available on the Display tab and the Filters tab allows you to change the report to show almost anything you want to see about your QuickBooks data. Most of your report editing changes will be made on these two tabs. In addition to the Display and Filters tabs, you also can use the Header and Footer tab and the Fonts and Numbers tab to control the general display appearance of the header and footer and the text and numbers displayed within the reports, respectively. If you click the Display tab, you will see slightly different options depending upon which type of report you are creating a transaction detail report or a summary report. For both types of reports, you will see the Report Date Range section where you can select the range of dates to use for the report. This filters the report by restricting what records are included within the report by transaction date. You can use the Dates drop-down to select from a listing of the most commonly used report ranges or you can use the From and To Date selectors to specify a starting date and ending date for the records that you want to use. Also, for both types of reports, you will be able to select how the report calculates and displays income and expenses by choosing either Accrual or Cash as desired from the Report Basis section. Now, the next section, 
columns is where you will see the main difference between the transaction detail and the summary reports within QuickBooks. If you are creating a transaction detail then report, then in the columns section you will click on the name of any column shown in the scrollable listing of possible columns to add it in order to place a check mark next to it. If you wish to remove a column that you've marked to add, then you can click it again to remove the check from next to the column name and remove its display from your report. Next, you can use the Sort By dropdown to choose by which columns values you wish to sort the report. You can choose any report column that you've checked in order to add it to the report from this drop-down menu. You can then choose either ascending order or descending order to select the sorting method to use on the selected columns values. Next, for transaction detail reports, you can click the Advanced button to open the Advanced Options dialog box. For transaction detail reports, you will see the Include and Open Balance slash Aging sections. In the Include section, you can select either the All option to include all accounts regardless of whether or not there was any activity within the account for the date range you selected, or you can select the In Use option to only use accounts that had activity within the date range you specified. For aging reports, you can select to view the customer's open balance as of the current date or as of the report date by selecting the desired option button. Once you set any advanced options, if needed, click the OK button to apply them and return to the Modify Report window. You can click the Filters tab within the Modify Report window to set or modify the report filters which allow you to further refine your data selection in the report. For example, assuming that you decided to display the account name column within your report on the Display tab, you could then apply a filter to the account name column to only display expense account types on the filter tab. This is simply one example of filtering the displayed report data, and you can set and modify any of the available filters shown within this tab to customize your report content to create hundreds of possible filter variations. If the report that you're modifying already has report filtering applied, such as the filters applied to many of the preset reports, then you will see the applied filters and their settings shown in the Current Filter Choices section of the Filters tab. You can click on any filter shown in this list to view its settings to the left within the Choose Filter section. In this section, you can change the settings of the filter by using the options available. Depending upon which filter you select, the options for filtering may vary. Some filter values need you to type a matching value, while some allow you to select from a drop-down menu of choices, and some others simply allow you to select a desired option from one or two possible options. You may also add new filters to the report by simply selecting the name of the filter to apply from the Choose Filter list, and then applying any settings as desired. If you want to read a bit more about how a filter that you have selected is applied, then you can click the Tell Me More button to open a help file about the filter and how it can be used within your reports. This is a very good way to familiarize yourself with many of the report filtering options that are available. If you want to completely remove a filter that's been applied to a report, then you can start by selecting the name of the filter to remove from the current filter choices list at the right side of the Filters tab. Then click the Remove Selected Filter button to delete that filter from the report. You can click the Header Footer tab in the Modify Report window in order to change settings related to the display of content within the header and footer of your report. In the Show Header Information section, check any content that you want to show in the header of your report. 
you can then type the text to display for the selected content into the boxes available. You then repeat this process for the Show Footer Information section in order to display report content in the Report Footer area. You can then use the Alignment drop-down in the Page Layout section to select the desired layout for your header and footer content within the report. You can click the Fonts and Numbers tab in the Modify Report window in order to set the display of the font used for the various sections of your report that are shown in the Font section of this tab. You can also set the display of number values in your report using the options available within this tab. To set the display of the font for a report section, start by selecting the report section that you want to format from the listing shown in the Change Font For list. The current font used to display the selected item will be shown to the right of the list. You can then click the Change Font button to open a dialog box that will allow you to change the appearance of the text. You can then click the OK button to apply your changes and return to the Modify Report window when you're finished. You can set the display of negative numbers within the report by making your desired selections from the options shown in the Show Negative Numbers section. You can then set optional display options for all numbers within the Show All Numbers section by checking either or both checkboxes if desired. Once you've set your custom report options, you can then click the OK button within the Modify Report window to apply your report settings. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.